to my channel. Hey yo, hey yo, listen up, listen up, yeah. Hey yo, hey yo, hey yo. The wireless woman. You in charge of the girls, right? I am in charge of the girls. Are you in charge of the girls? I am in charge of the girls. Okay. All right. Hey, yo, hey, yo, hey, yo. Welcome back, Wi Fi's, to yet another underground and under renovation. I'm going to get there, y'all. I promise I have it in the plans. I just bought a new house. Y'all got to give a girl a chance. But welcome to another under renovation transmission of the wireless woman. Go ahead and do me a favor on your way in and like this video. Why? Because when you like it, well, I love it. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to this channel. And click the notification bell for notifications of when I go live and when I upload new content like today. So today we're going to talk about how. How, Sway how you become disqualified by listening to the advice of the unqualified. All right. So listen, I said it in one of my videos before. Google is not smarter than your grandma. Knowledge in information is wonderful. It's a beautiful thing to be in the information age. Of course, just like all technology, it's open to fraud to hacking. Okay. And so the information age has also led to the misinformation age. Uh, we've all seen the miseducation age, and now we are in the age of both the informational renaissance as well as the knowledge of evil. Okay. The decline of the quality of the information and knowledge that we have had is increasing because of our access to it. The more common something becomes, the more basic it becomes. The more the access to something increases, the more people don't value it. Like the reason why our money is so high right now is because there's not enough of it to go around. That's what we call <laughs> inflation. Okay, it takes more of it to get what you want. And I mean, yeah, the problem was caused by printing too much money, having access to too much money for too long. Them 2%, 3% interest rates. Yeah, that was real nice. But look at us now. Um, it's the same thing, ladies, and this is a side note, with access to y'all, access to your body, access to your feminine energy. Yeah, yeah, we put so much feminine energy so freely out in the world without any standards, boundaries, and expectations that maybe they telling you how it goes. <laughs> they telling you what feminine energy is. We done put so much out that men got it and they're using it. Okay. They like it. They like how it feels. How does it feel? How does it feel? So just like what we're watching the Fed do, which is raise the price of money, restrict people's access to it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, qualifying yourself is all about reading some books, baby. Yeah. Having some application through lived experience. Okay. Having applied the knowledge to see what actually works in the real world, baby, in order to be able to be vetted through that experience to give advice. But no, 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 not us black people. We're taking advice, <laughs> building whole movements around people who don't even have the experiential, educational, academic knowledge of what they're speaking on. And that's a real tough place to be in. You are following the follower. And we really have to get to a place where we circle back and get in tune with whatever our center is. You know, for me, that's a very spiritual thing. That's a very spiritual place. And people will discredit me as a secular voice for my religious views. However, most of the study of all things 
were funded by religious institutions that were looking for solutions to secular problems. Okay. But that doesn't discredit or discount all the whole entire body of research that's been done in order to bring us to these technological, economic, industrial, you know, technological advancements. With that being said, the truth is still out there. X-Files style. The truth is still out there, you know, and we still need people with scientific minds to stay curious, even with the whole universe, honestly, at your fingertips. We have not become gods. We have not exhausted the pursuit of humanity yet. You know, we still need to read some books. We still need to know about where we came from. We still need to be charting a course into the future and not just marching aimlessly into oblivion. Not just following the whimsy of the pain. You know, pain does create revelation. This is true. Necessity is the mother of invention. However, some of these broken hearted, broke back, throw back, dating coaches, hotels, revolutionaries, fake revolutionaries that our people are following, they have led us into the dirt. Gotcha. Gotcha. You know, we followed celebrity culture. We followed all of these black movements, Black Lives Matter. We followed the Democrats here. You know, we we followed. We've been a very docile, submissive group of people, despite what's been said about us. And now we're here. And the answer to patriarchy can't be more patriarchy. You know, if we've seen what white patriarchy did to the Black community, why would we embrace that? The answer to conservatism can't be more conservatism. The answer to misogyny and sexism can't be more misogyny. We're going to have to be what we've always been as Black people and start to really engineer some solutions that are creative, that think outside the box. You know, we had a whole group of Black inventors at a certain time. And we know who went and bought the patents. We know who thought that land everybody who was sharing could only belong to certain people. You know, we've heard the story about Manhattan, about the Native Americans that sold land to the pilgrims because they were like, who can own land? They thought the concept of it was so absurd. But look at us now. Buying and buying, buying to buy land. Something that no one should be able to own. Like we're more temporary than the earth. You would think we wouldn't be trying to own it, but hey, <laughs> set yourself off. So same thing. We invented these, you know, uh, mechanisms and machines to make life easier for people. And then someone else went to, and bought the patent and sold it to people. Made life convenient for some people and very inconvenient for others who couldn't keep up with the technology unless they purchased it from the person who owned the patent. I'm not going to get into all of that today. Not in this episode anyway. But I'm saying all these things to say we have lended our power, strength, voice, and allegiance to unqualified people. Unqualified people who have disqualified us as a people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's time for you to unplug. Mm -hmm. Be unbothered so that we can be unleashed as a people, so that our creative ability and force, which has always allowed us to come from the back, come from the bottom of every social structure that's been set up to crush us, every political machine that's been set up to oppress us, every economic industry that's been set up to, you know, subjugate us. We've been able to overcome so much as a people. 
and still be, I mean, everybody want to be black. But everybody don't want to be a nigga. That's the only thing. Everybody want to be black, but don't nobody want to be a nigga. But for all of the evil, for all of the 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 mechanisms, the machines, the systems that we have had to overcome, the one that I'm watching tear this community from the inside out has been our ignorance, our inability to change when we see the need to. So it's time. Time to do that work. Time to do the work of self-reflection, internal nation building, so that our external community and nation can look like the inner workings of our own hearts. Because whether we recognize it or not, it does right now. <laughs> it does right now. If you were to sit inside the mind of the average black person and then drive around the hood, you would see you you would see some symmetry there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So let's get some therapy. You know, let's change our minds around what the use and purpose of our bodies are when it comes to how we relate to each other, the use and purpose of our money when it comes to what we're willing to spend it on. You know, let's have some some uh, standards and raise our our boundaries and our values around what it is. Let's do some gatekeeping of blackness. How about that? You know, let's put up a gate. Let's put up a wall. Let us do that. Let us put up a wall. How about that? And, and, and force other people to adopt our values and our systems in order to participate in our society. Mm -hmm. But we can't do that when our standards are on the ground. We can't do that following around hurt, broken, bitter people, even into the grave. But one thing I will say as a side note to Black women, we have to also let this thing that has been exposing the heart of our community, of people that are around us, whether they be male or female, if they turn into a smith in front of you, you know, if it's a black woman in a red dress and then you look back and it's a smith, a smith is a smith. They belong to the system. And we have to look at this house on fire that we're in, that we've been in since the 60s. And some people ain't gonna be saved. Those that are awake and not leaving, we gotta leave them there. We're doing what we can to put the fire out. And as we're working on that, we're also trying to get out everybody who, who we can get out. It's like Harriet Tubman. We're trying to get everybody out of this thing that's coming. And we can't do that wasting time on people that don't even want to come. They love the bosom of whiteness that are fully assimilated into these systems of white hegemony. We're not going to get them out. And we got to leave them. We got to become more consorted about what the effort will be. You know, I would rather save out fully whole the people that don't want to be trapped in the system than to keep going around and around the mulberry bush arguing, <laughs> arguing with the uninformed and with the disqualified mm -hmm. because there's nothing that will unqualify the qualified like <laughs> Arguing with the disqualified, baby. They the gun went off and they already false started. Why they're not in your race anymore? They're not in your race anymore. Let them go. If you see what I see, if you feel as I feel, but if you see what I see, if you feel as I feel, and if you would seek as I seek, go ahead and drop that fire. Headphones emoji in the comments. I look forward to engaging with you there. But until the next wireless woman transmission, do me a favor, stay unplugged, okay? Stay unbothered so that you can stay unleashed. Y'all can go ahead and clock out for me now. They said they never gave you niggas money. You don't know how to appreciate it.